For US EVA 78, both crew members will be working together to replace a failed S-band antenna. EV1 will be Tom Marshburn wearing the suit with the red stripes. EV2 will be Kayla Barron wearing the suit with the white stripes. EV1 will lead out by going up to Cedar Spur and translating on to face one. There he will begin setting up the robotic arm. EV2 will follow the same path initially, translate up to face one, and then continue Zenith past the failed S-band antenna and out to express logistics carrier number three. Once at the work site, EV2 will stow two bags and then retrieve a rigidizable tether. This tether will be installed on the forward face of the logistics carrier and will be used to temporarily stow the degraded antenna as it's brought over to the carrier later in the EVA. EV1 will set up the robotic arm by installing a portable foot restraint and then we'll ingress that foot restraint and get ready for arm motion. EV2 will continue some prep work at the express logistics carrier and then we'll translate to the degraded SASA or S-band antenna. EV1 will then provide guidance to the robotic arm to get him to his next work site while EV2 will release three connectors that provide heater power, functional power, and data. EV1 will put gimbal locks in place. These will prevent the antenna from moving as it's translated back and forth from P1 over to the express logistics carrier. These four bolts will then be driven by the pistol grip tool. EV1 will then have the robotic arm rotate him around to the handrail side of the S-band antenna, while EV2 releases the stanchion bolt that secures the antenna to structure. Once that bolt is released, the crew will work together to free the antenna, and EV1 will translate on the robotic arm to express logistics carrier number three. Both crew members will work together to temporarily stow this S-band antenna in that rigidizable tether. They'll then begin to prepare the spare so that it can be brought over to P1. They'll remove a thermal blanket, stow that out of the way. This provides thermal conditioning for the unit. They each have two bolts each to release and they'll be using a special tool called a right angle drive in order to gain access to those bolts. EV2 will then get into position to drive the two remaining bolts. Pistol grip tool will be used for that as well. These are called the mast bolts. There's a soft dock to overcome. Uh, once that is overcome, EV1 will gain control of the spare unit and then we'll ride the arm over to the P1 work site. Once at the P1 worksite, both crew members will work together to soft dock this, where it will be temporarily held into the truss, while EV2 drives the stanchion bolt that will secure it in place. EV2 will then reconnect the three connectors that provide heater power, functional power, and data. And EV1 will release the four gimbal locks. At this point, the antenna will be free to track satellites to allow good communication between the space station and the ground. Once the crew is clear of the worksite, they'll perform a checkout on this antenna. Both crew members will then head back to Express Logistics Carrier number three. At 
this point, they'll be working together to stow the degraded unit back onto the flight releasable attach mechanism or FRAM. This is the way that these ORUs or orbital replacement units are brought onto the space station. This one has heater power that helps to keep it alive. ED2 will drive two bolts to secure it to structure. These are called the mast bolts. Once those bolts are driven, the final step will be to install a thermal blanket that provides thermal conditioning and keeps this degraded unit available as a spare if it's ever needed. EV1 will then back away from the worksite on the robotic arm and head back towards the truss. EV2 will then gather the bags and tools at the worksite and stow those on her body restraint tether. She'll head back to the airlock where she can stow those bags. Meanwhile, EV1 will be getting off of the robotic arm the portable foot restraint and he'll return it to the starboard seat of cart. This is where he picked it up at the beginning of the EVA. The one will then head back to the airlock as well. They'll both ingress and this will conclude US EVA 78.